All right, so it's 560 grams. What about if you add the cable as well? So that's not a great number. <laughs> oh, what's going on, YouTube? This is what would Josh do, and this is yet another exciting video. This is a brand new product. I ordered it shortly after it came out. I didn't order it immediately, but I did order it, I think, several hours later. I spend my own money on this stuff, so I wasn't sure if I was going to buy this or not, but I went ahead and did it. This is the Anchor 200 watt six ports GAN charger, 200 watts total, four USB C, two USB A, Active Shield, three. Got a whole bunch of data here about the supported devices. Uh, obviously, anything that can be charged is supported, but you know. All right, so 80 million plus people, fast charging via leading technology, 24 month warranty. Wow, that's uh, pretty actually insanely awesome. So 200 watt output, it says over four USB-C ports, two USB-A supports up to 100 watts for individual devices. So you can have two devices charging at 100 watts, which is awesome. And then here we have a lot of data. Oh my word. So feast your eyes on that. Uh, that's kind of insane. Yeah, that, that's a lot of data. Total output up to 200. This is model number A2683. There's the UPC and just my serial number. So they've got a nice little easy pull tab here. So you don't even need to use a knife to get into it, which is pretty awesome. It does weigh quite a bit. We have a scale next to me. If I remember, I will weigh it. All right. Oh, that is a unit. That is a unit. So we've got a whole bunch of data here on the bottom of it. I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing that we saw on the side of it that showed a whole bunch of data, but you can go ahead and pause that and read that for yourself. That's a, that's a whole lot. You got rubber feet there. You've got that charging port, which is pretty cool that it uses a standard plug. Nothing on the sides. Anchor on the top. All of those beautiful ports there on the front. All right, let's take a look at what else is in here because this still wastes quite a bit. There's definitely some more stuff in here. So we've got something in here. So, nice little plug there. Doesn't appear to be anything else. In Anchor's new fashion, they're doing this QR code that you scan to access the user guide. So this just contains all of the legal stuff that they have to provide. Uh, and then there's a diagram showing six devices charging. All right, and this is where I ordered it from. I ordered it from Amazon. I will have a link to this in the description below. And here you get a whole bunch of useful data. So the USB-A ports can do up to 22.5 watts. If you do four port charging, then you can do, uh, so say you use all four of the Type-C ports, which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, you got 65 on one, 65 on another, and then your other two are gonna be 45. That's actually pretty generous. I'm actually very impressed with that. So if you combine the USB-A ports, then you're able to do 65 watts, 65 watts, 45 watts. Now, if you use all six ports, you can do 65, 45, 45, 20. So that's still great. And then those USB-A ports are going to have their own little bit of power there. So that's uh, pretty freaking impressive. And then what I'm probably going to be using this for the most is the dual 100 port charging. So basically, you can have your laptop charging at full speed and then your wife's laptop charging at full speed uh, or your kids or you know whatever. So... I think 99% of the time I'm going to be using this for the four port there. So 65 watts going to two power banks and then 45 watts going to one and 25 going to the other. All right, let's get started. So here's that wall outlet. So just occasionally keep an eye on the number that you're seeing over here. And then we're going to plug this in and uh, no signs of life. Like there's no lights on it or anything. But uh, so it's drawing a little bit of idle power there, almost about half a watt, a uh, quarter of a watt. And then we're going to connect up, uh, let's say, I don't know, two power banks. So we'll do this guy, which is dead. I've killed them in preparation for this video. So it's immediately jumping up to 100 watts, 93. OK, OK. All right, let's. Uh, Let's task it with this guy. I killed this. See, this one right here, this one is 100 watt charging, but only for a brief moment. Then it goes into like thermal throttling and it charges at 45 watts the rest of the way. So 
I'm going to pick this guy over this guy any day of the week because this thing can sustain 140 watts without any problems. All right, we're going to see if this gets interrupted, which it probably will. So keep an eye on that. And we're going to plug in this guy. Oh, I didn't even catch that. I'll have to see if during editing, I don't see if it uh, interrupted it or not. Oh, look at that right away. Right away. We're getting up there to 76, and this is still getting 94. All right, and now we're gonna connect some more stuff. So these are going at, I gotta make that screen not turn off. All right, these are going at 90 and 75. Let's introduce a third power bank. So if I remember correctly, these two are gonna get 65, and this is gonna get up to 45. Does it matter that I have something plugged in? Okay, so it didn't change anything. I don't have anything plugged in to the other end of this cable. So that's still getting almost 100 watts. And this is getting 65, and this is getting 30. Okay, so let's introduce a fourth device. So that article doesn't really mention three devices. So it looks like port one can still get 100 watts if you have three things charging. So. The second thing charging is getting 65, and the next thing charging is getting 30. Now let's switch it up and put this power bank in. Okay, so this thing can charge up to 65, and it's charging at 30 right now. So let's connect that power bank to the fourth port here. Okay, and I saw that these reset, so that went to zero. Okay, so now that we have four things charging, this guy did go to 45, and this guy's at 30. So that's exactly what it says it's going to do. This one right here is this third port. And then these two are getting 60 and 60. So they can do up to 65. This thing isn't warm to the touch yet. But what I want to do is unplug all of these. And I have a MacBook Pro that I, I killed. So it's dead. Let's plug in. All right, so the MacBook's uh, charging. Wow, and it's going up quick too. All right, 74. Let me open the screen up. All right, so what is the power bank charging at? This is charging at 90 watts. It says here 94. So that's pretty cool. That's fast. And then the laptop is charging at 90. So this is using the official charger that came with my laptop, the MagSafe one. And basically what I want to do is I want to let both of these things charge at 100 watts and see how hot this thing gets. Wow, so I'm just now seeing the wall. I had it out of the video. So yeah, <laughs> 200 watts. All right, so if you can see my thing here, it's showing that the hottest point is at 45, almost 40, yeah, the 46 Celsius. So the power bank, which my hand is much hotter than the power bank. So let's give this some time and let's let these two things charge up and we'll uh, come back and see how hot they get. That's actually quite interesting that look, look at the cable. You can like follow the cable all the way. <laughs> and so I touch the cable and it's not warm. Like, I don't know. I can tell that there's definitely some heat being generated, but I wouldn't even call it warm. And uh, we're still at 40 six so that's getting warm it's getting warm like it's it's not there yet so it's hotter than my hand interesting okay i guess also i should show this because uh due to the way like glass works if i try to measure for the temperature from the front i i get different results so i'm gonna keep it on its side like that and then this app shows that we are currently at 23 percent battery and it's charging at 94 watts and this still shows 91, 90 and a half. And the hottest is still 45 Celsius. Okay, I saw 50 just now, five zero. So we're getting, we're getting there. We're generating a little more heat now. 58.9, 59.1. All right, let's check the temperature here. So highest being 59.5. And then all I'm doing now is I'm setting it up to see if maybe it gets cooler with some additional airflow because it is kind of flat on the sides. And I did take away the display because we can see that we're still pushing 200 watts out. 
And since we can see that we're drawing 94 to this one, it's pretty easy to do the math and go, okay, well, that laptop's getting 100 watts then. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video for now, and we'll come back when things are more charged. What's going on, YouTube? We're back. Things are slowing down. The power bank is now at 66 watts. That just happened. I want to get the heat read out real quick. So it looks like we're at 62 degrees on the surface, but there are going to be some spots of this that are closer to 80 degrees. So this thing is quite warm. Yeah, 77.9. Yes, it is very warm. And honestly, uh, that is uncomfortable. I'm going to let go of that. That is, that is a little too warm to keep your hands on it. So to wrap up the video, that thing is almost full. Is it because this thing's almost full or did it slow down because of the heat? So my laptop was dead. Now it's at 48%. Like it was literally zero, like it was dead. So it looks like we are slowing down because of how much heat is being generated. All right, so it's staying at 78 degrees at the hottest point right now. And it has slowed down the charging. So we're drawing 145 watts from the wall. The MacBook is charging at 68 watts. It's only at 50% charge, so... All right, so this thing is very warm in my hands right now. Uh, it is currently throttling. The laptop is only at 50%, and it should be charging faster than what it currently is. This power bank right here is actually pretty low at 34%, so it could be charging at closer to 100 watts, and it isn't. And b before I end the video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, record using this thing. It's a crappy file, but it gives you a pretty good idea of what you're working with there. So we're showing 64 degrees on the outside of the unit. So it can't read as well because of the large things that are plugged in right now. In fact, there we go. So we're reading 75 watts right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, 75 Celsius. And the bottom is at uh, 64.9. And the back of it is really warm there too. It's uh, cooled down now. It's at 68. It was at 69. All right. So in order to not make this video terribly long, yes, this thing is at about 70 degrees Celsius on the outside. But we have throttled. We're no longer getting 100 watts to the MacBook, which is here on the left, and 100 watts to the power bank. But we are getting 65 watts to the power bank and almost 70 watts to the laptop. So even though this thing is at 70 degrees Celsius, in my opinion, it is handling that heat very well and it's evenly distributing it with the hottest point being right here at the uh, outlets where the plugs are. And then the rest of it's around 65 to 68 degrees on the outside. So yes, you wouldn't be able to hold that very long because it is quite warm, but it doesn't appear to be throttling as bad as you would think it would and here we are a few minutes later and it's still chilling at about 65 ish degrees celsius on the outside of the unit and we're still charging things fairly quickly so this is just the unboxing and first look first impressions of this charger it's really freaking cool the fact that you can have two things charging at 65 watts one thing charging at 45 watts and another thing charging at 25 watts is actually huge. You can have two things charging at 100 watts each. You can have three things charging. One's at 100, one's at 65, and one's at 30. You can have four, or five, or six things charging. Now, I'm not going to use those USB-A ports because they're just going to slow down everything. So if I want to use the USB-A port and plug it in, I'm still getting 70. Oh, no. Okay. Yep. That's slow. Okay. Went back up to 65, and that's at 41. And look at that bad boy, dude. Let me zoom in. That's USB-A right here on the far left to USB-C. That's cooking. 23, what? That's actually impressive. No, that's not USB-C. No, that's not 100 watts or 65 watts or 45 watts. But damn, is it close to 25 watts that you would get if you had a four thing plugged into the USB-C port. That's actually quite impressive. And all together, we're doing 142 watts from the wall. Okay, damn, my videos are freaking long. All right. I don't think you're going to hear the fan, but I do have one pointed towards the thing here because I'm trying to cool it down. 
I want to see that fast charging on USB-A again. Come on. I'm getting quite frustrated here. I really want to see 20-something watts and figure out what it's doing. Okay, of course it would wait until after I stop filming with my big camera. But yeah, now it says quick charge 3.0 on this little guy here. 16 watts. If I introduce this guy, which was charging earlier at quick charge as well. Okay, once again, it doesn't want to do quick charge with two devices plugged in. All right, third and final part of this video. This is a janky setup, but I have this thing cooled down enough where it's barely slightly warm to the touch. I'm back at quick charge 2.0, so we are charging it at 23 watts. So that's awesome. If I plug in a second item, nothing's plugged into the other end of the cable. I plugged it in, it didn't reset it. All right, so now we're gonna plug in the cable and see what happens. Dang, so you really don't wanna plug in two USB-A devices unless you really want them to slowly charge, like some AirPods or Pixel Buds or a game controller or something. Cause the moment you introduce that other device, it slows down a lot. I think this is definitely going to be my ultimate power bank, you know, portable charger charging station because it's just, it's awesome. All right. And then for the weight test, this thing weighs 560 grams. So kind of a heavy thing. All right. So it's 560 grams. What about if you add the cable as well? So that's not a great number. <laughs> So how much does the cable weigh by itself? Okay, so the cable adds 104 grams. It was one, it changed. Anyways, 102 grams. Okay, so the cable weighs 102 grams and that weighs 562. So it goes down to 560 sometimes. But anyways, so together you're looking at 666 grams. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and also enabling notifications on new videos. If you follow me on my social media, such as Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube community page, you would know that this video was happening. I have another Anchor Power Bank that should arrive today or tomorrow, and I'll be posting another video of that thing. And it seems like a lot of you guys are very interested in that power bank. See y'all later. This is what we talked to, and I'm out.